Come join me for a homeschool mom day in the life where we are trying to get all the things done. I have a list of things that I need to accomplish today. Um, let's see how this goes, shall we? I'm going to take you through some homeschooling. I'm going to take you through some things that I need to get done around here. Just kind of what a day looks like in my life as a homeschool mom on a day where I am trying to accomplish many things. A lot of work here on YouTube that I need to get done today. So come join me. Let's see how this actually plays out. What a busy day in my life. Get it all done with me actually looks like. On top of homeschooling, right? Homeschooling first, then the other things. Let's do this. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the Once I got back from my early morning workout, I was able to get started on my day. It is such a fresh feeling for me to get my workout done bright and early in the morning because then I'm not cramming it into our afternoon schedule or our afternoon routine. Um, it seems like for me, I just function better when it's done first thing. It's not easy to get up, but I just function better when it's done. So I got home from working out, got my list of things to do and my plan and goals for the day kind of all written down. We jumped straight into our homeschooling for the day. I am a homeschooling mom of three boys, and so today my middle child is working on his language right at this specific moment, and I have my two other boys working on their math from teaching textbooks. So we're going to work through these subjects, get our homeschooling stuff done, and then move into what the day has for us. Now, as I'm moving to and from, I want to share this with you guys. This is the current state of my homeschool room, my space. Obviously, I don't change the date, like ever. I need to put someone in charge of that. But as we were moving through our homeschool day, I just realized how deeply I needed to tackle that mess. So be sure you click that subscribe button because I have got more on a homeschool declutter coming for you. Now, naturally, in between subjects, there is a little bit of spare time here and there for the boys. So my middle child is actually tending to his chore, which was unloading and loading the dishwasher. And while he's doing that, and we're waiting for the computer to be freed up, I'm going to go ahead and look over his language from the good and the beautiful that he just completed while we wait for his older brother to finish his teaching textbooks on the computer as well. Does anybody else have days where they just homeschool in their sweats? Like, I'm ready. I'm completely ready for the day, but this mama just wants her sweats. We are now moving into language arts from The Good and the Beautiful with my youngest. So this is not something that I necessarily like him to do independently. So I'm usually sitting right next to him, going over his language arts from The Good and the Beautiful, right next to him, alongside him, there to help him if he needs help, if he needs guidance, if he needs direction. Today was obviously one of those mornings where we all were just really wanting to just be snug and comfy and cozy and um, get through school together. So just a quick check-in. It is 11.32 to be exact. We have gotten all of our school finished for the day. So we did the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts, all of my boys, and then they also did their math, their teaching textbooks math lesson for the day. And so that is done. So another thing that I added to my list of things to get done today, and I know this probably sounds really super silly, but we do not have automatic sprinklers. And so we have to go move the sprinkler around the front yard, the backyard, all of my flowers, all of my shrubs, our garden, everything has to be watered manually. And they turned our water off, so we haven't had water, any irrigation water for the last two days. It is supposed to be 80 some degrees today. It's gonna to be beautiful, but our yard is going to fry. And so that's something I've been intentional about setting the timer every 15 minutes to go outside and move the sprinkler. So now that we finished up with our homeschool stuff, it is officially 1134. So we're gonna go outside now and just relax for a little bit. I got back, I think my oldest has already begun taking apart his motorcycle. Brantley is playing with the chickens. Cooper is doing the last two problems of his math um, from teaching textbooks, and we are gonna go outside and just get some fresh air for a little bit. I know I have a list of things to continue, but I'm gonna go take this time for a few. Be present, my list will be waiting for me. So outside we go to soak up some sunshine, spend some intentional time together, and see where the rest of this day leads and how many things I actually get done. One thing that I forgot to show you um, on my list to, to get done was make my menu plan. So that is what I was doing at this moment. One more thing that I got to cross off my list. 
Here is our menu plan that I just kind of briefly and quickly went ahead and wrote everything out. So I've got lunch ideas for the week. Here are dinner ideas for the week. And now we do have a couple different events going on that I don't need to plan dinner meals for. And so this week I just went ahead and planned seven meals. I just need to go ahead and add things to my grocery pickup order and then also grab what I need at Costco. So those are one of the next two things on my list of things to do after our scheduled fun time. It's game time. The fun is over. We've been outside for about the last hour and a half. I'm going to make lunch really quick. And to be honest, I've kind of lost my mojo for going to Costco. It is above 80 degrees outside. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think we might actually head to a body of water with some kayaks and just soak up the sun. Costco can wait. It's not the most important thing on my list of things to do today. And it was just one of those things that I'm like, I should do that. I need a few things, I should do that. I don't wanna spend this gorgeous day inside a stinking building. So I think I'm gonna scrap Costco on my list of things to do. And that's something I could honestly get done tomorrow. I don't need it today. So I'm gonna scrap that. I'm gonna get lunch made. I'm gonna film the two videos that I need to film for YouTube really quick. Um, I'm gonna try batch filming so that it kind of frees up the rest of my week. I'm gonna do that really quick, make some lunch for the boys, make my own lunch, and move on. Okay, so my grocery pickup order has been placed. I can cross that off my list of things to do today. Mother's Day gifts I have not done yet. I told you we're gonna postpone Costco. So, maybe tomorrow so there's that film three videos that's what I'm gonna work on right now so I'm gonna go see what I can get done a new wreath for the front door and Mother's Day gifts those kind of go together because I can accomplish both at the same time so also drop off cans for recycling those are like like I said the kill multiple birds with one stone so on to filming videos on to making lunch we're gonna take a detour and have a little extra fun in our day instead of going to Costco. Guys, look what just arrived from the land of storybooks. I am so excited to explore, to adventure. This could not be the more perfect box for my family. I am so excited to do this. Thank you to the land of storybooks for sending us this package. This is a fun little break in the middle of our homeschool day to get some fun mail. This is really hard to do with one hand. I need my boys to help me. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. We have a fun little letter, a nice bookmark. Some journeys start with a leap. Begin. How adorable is this? This is packaged so beautifully, so beautifully. Let's see. Again, doing this one-handed. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, the Land of Storybooks Adventure Guide. We have our book right here. This is absolutely adorable. This book is going to be fun to read with my adventurous boys, seriously. What is awesome about this subscription box is the craft that comes along. I am all about family time. You guys know that. I am all about doing things that we can do together. This is something that we will do together. This subscription box from the Land of Storybooks is all about journeying through stories and making crafts and being creative together as a family. So this right here is everything that we need to complete the craft. Okay, let's take a look and flip through it really quick. The Land of Storybooks is all about cultivating wonder, being creative together. So you have the crafts, right? They are all about cultivating truth and discussion cultivating goodness. Okay, we've got a recipe here for mango smoothies, some bear paw cookies, cultivating beauty by serving together. This is an absolutely beautiful 
subscription box. Everything in this box is going to be exactly that, an adventure. I am so excited to begin this with my boys. Thank you, The Land of Storybooks, for sending this to me. Again, The Land of Storybooks, 20% off, you guys. This is huge. If you sign up for their three-month prepaid subscription box, 20% off is what you are going to save. Perfect for summertime. It is a huge sale you do not want to miss out on. Back to my list of things to do for today. As we are working through getting it all done, we are having hoagie sandwiches. Well, not we, my boys. I'm making them toasted hoagie sandwiches, which they absolutely love. Just lunch meat and some cheese on a hoagie sandwich. I grew up on them. I loved them. My boys now love them. So that's what they're having for lunch. I'm going to make my usual, which is my smoothie. To this smoothie, I just add some ice, some water, a whole bunch of spinach, and a little bit of protein powder, and that is what I have for lunch. Now on to filming the three videos I need to film for YouTube. I just got two and a half. This is three, if you're counting this, because this counts, right? Three and a half <laughs> videos filmed, and I am feeling like a rock star. Mama got done what she needed to get done. Good things are coming for you here in this space. I hope that, I hope you love what's to come. Some good things, some fun collabs, some awesome giveaways. Hint, hint, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Those of you out there who are watching who are YouTube mamas, you will know what that feels like when you get like, I got a clean slate for a week. Yes, the editing, that's usually the more difficult part, the editing. My boys are still out back playing with the chickens. I got this done. I need to edit, map out my calendar, cross off my to-do list for my YouTube side of things because that doesn't even, that doesn't even fit into my normal daily get it all done with me. Like YouTube is a whole nother, I got a whole separate calendar for that. So I got some things done. I'm so excited. I know you guys are cheering for me, right? You're cheering for me. I can hear you somehow. Okay. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly One. You can take me high <laughs> I can what? see that the sun like staring at you When you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow oh. Whoa, don't and get me oh, Until like, you save me stuff. Until you set me free my eyes Ladies and gentlemen Oh my goodness I see Look. Day, And I just wanted to say <laughs> You can take it Our day totally took a turn For the better We are just playing in the water today It is almost 80 degrees and this is way better than going to Costco. So we're gonna hang out and spend the day here. Tonight is actually the boys' anybody, night to cook dinner. So we are gonna go home. They're gonna make us breakfast for dinner. We try to do that once a week where the boys actually practice serving us. That's something I learned from my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. And we have loved implementing it in our home. At this point, they've always um, just kind of stuck with making us breakfast. So we're gonna have breakfast when we get home. Costco is going to have to wait for another day, but I did get most of the things done on my list that I needed to get done. I got the wreath for my front door. I got all of our cans dropped off at the recycle place, and basically the only thing I didn't get done was Costco. So thank you for joining me for another day in the life where we just focused on making a list of things that needed to get done and tackling them one at a time throughout our homeschool day. I hope you are having a beautiful day. This is just making me so anxious for summer, you guys. I so ready for summer. We're going to have to do this again, where we bring their 
kayaks and all the fun summer toys. So this is goodbye for now, but I'll see you next time. And as promised, here is our Costco haul. I didn't make it on that specific day, but I made it the next day, got everything we needed. It was not a big deal at all. So I like to keep the Kirkland Signature tuna on hand, the canned tuna. I love to have snacky things like the Baja burritos. Those are something I like to keep in the freezer. I love their organic cauliflower bites. These were purchased the boys said I needed to get some cinnamon rolls from Costco. I love, love, love English cucumbers, so I purchased a package of those. These are the Digestive Advantage Daily Probiotics. The cheapest I have found them is at Costco. So we picked some of those up. If you know me, you know I love my bacon. So I purchased four packages of this Costco bacon, the Kirkland Signature Bacon. I like to keep that on hand. Then we have some simple meal idea options here. So the chicken meatballs from Idell's. Just stick them in the freezer, throw them in the crock pot. Very simple meal. Some lunch meat we always have on hand. Liquid IV from Costco. This is something that some of you homeschool mamas have recommended to me and I gave it a shot. I really like it. Actually, the flavor is not terrible. Now I'm not specifically doing keto, but I found this granola that looks really super yummy. And so I picked up this granola from Costco when we were there as well. Then some more simple meal ideas, even lunch ideas. These are awesome to just put some barbecue sauce over, put them on some Hawaiian rolls and have an awesome dinner or lunch idea. Very healthy as well. Tortillas are a staple in our home, so I always pick up a big package of flour tortillas. Also, Costco strawberries are to die for. They're big and juicy and delicious and amazing, so picked up some of those. Picked up some Caesar salad kits from Costco. I love theirs the best. I picked up three of them because I am taking some to some of our family functions that we have going on this weekend as well. So these are my favorite, favorite salad kits. Now, camping season. All the time spent at the cabin. Had to get some red solo cups as well as some silverware, which is something we always need. And here is a last little glimpse of some other things that I picked up while we were at Costco as well. I hope you enjoyed this Costco haul and I get it all done with me. It took a little turn, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>